Yeah. Ha, I know that they pray that I fall, they want me down. That little bitch ain't see one foot. I tell her I just turn around. That little stick don't even say pew. That bitch made like no sound. Why you got that little gun? Little at 22, think you gon' kill me, but you must be dumb. Why your bitch all up in my deal? Hey guys, it's your boy Sets here and I'm coming at y'all with a banger. I'm coming at y'all with the boofiest car I've ever hit. But before I get into it, leave a like, subscribe, comment, ring the bell. It'll make a sound when you click it, but you might as well, right? Show some love to your boy Sets, man. He been grinding the shit out. So let's just get into the banger. The boofiest car I've ever hit. So I'm just saying boof because you know that's what we say down here, you know, down, down in the south when shit's ass. I know back in the days, Boof meant gas. You know, I used to say good weed was Boof, but now I say Boof is ass. I don't know. Isn't that weird, right? But this is the worst car I've ever fucking hit. Like, this was lung collapse in a car, all right? Let's get straight into this fucking banger. Why don't we, huh? So this story takes place around a year and a half ago, and I was just at Walmart doing my daily shopping. I remember this particular day, I, um, uh, it was like, not particular day, this particular month, I was like fresh off of Quint Jangles, and I was working at my new job, and I remember this day, I was like, at Walmart, I remember I was like uh, balling out, like like not not trying to brag, but I was balling out. So I ended up seeing a friend from Bojangles I used to work with, and I heard he was like a plug or some shit. And he walks up to me, he's like, "Hey yo, bro, like I need to ride up the road, like literally like right up there beside the academy. I'm not gonna say exactly where I live at, but dude, literally like a mile up the road, like right on the way home." And he's like, "Yeah, man, I'll throw you a twenty and I'll smoke you out." And I was like, "Fuck yeah, dude! Like I'll ride up the road for like a twenty and I smoke out? Like well, what the fuck?" I was like, "Just let me finish my shopping and I got you." He's like, "Hell yeah, man, I'll walk with you, bro. Honestly, I was like fuck yeah." And so we ended up walking around, we ended up fucking around, honestly, you know, just talking about some bullshit. We end up going out. Uh, he ends up going out to my car. So yeah, man, like the car looks clean, man. It's like just done washing it. We end up fucking uh, uh, getting in the car after we get pulled the groceries in the trunk, obviously, right? And we end up getting in the car, and we're just chilling there talking. He's like, "All right, man, take me to my apartment." And we end up pulling the apartment. He's like, "All right, man, you want to park out here and smoke?" I'm like, "All right, bet, sure." So he pulls out a a, a, a a big baggie, right? Just a big ass baggie, right? And all the cards say Rove on them, right? And if you're in the cart market, you you know, if you see Rove, you're really just like, oh fuck. You already, you already know, like, it's, it's just like, damn, like, you know, fuck me, you know, like, I'd, I'd rather fucking smoke resin out of a, out of a bullshit bowl than, you know, hit this shit, but at the time, you know, whatever. So, uh, he's like, hey, man, which one you want to hit today? And I was like, fuck, let's hit the blue one, you know, I didn't know exactly which flavor was the blue one. I, I don't know all the row flavor, I know there's OG, I know there's, uh, damn, man, I know there's Sherbert, I know there's OG Fire, man, man, I can't remember none of these, man, it was a while ago, but... When I end up uh, getting in the car, right, and I look at it, dude, I remember the consistency was so off, bro. I remember that shit was so fucking stiff. It smelled like fucking pine salt, by the way, too. Like, that shit didn't smell right. So I end up just uh, putting it on my own pen, you know, because, yeah, he had a pen, but I was like, I'm going to put it on my own pen. And I end up putting it on my pen, and I rip it. And the second I rip it, dude, I just get the taste of just fucking pine salt and incense, right? And I hit it, and, dude, I start coughing off. Fucking long, like I don't. When, I know I exaggerate things a lot on this channel, but when I say I cough long this time, I really mean it, y'all. Like when I say cough long, I was in the car just <coughs> out. He's like, "Hey man, you wanna hit it again?" I'm like, "No man, I'm good, man. I appreciate it." I was like, "Yeah man, you good though, man. You have a good one though, man." I was like, "Yeah man, I appreciate it." And I remember just like in my head, like what the fuck did I hit? I remember like even after I, I was failing to catch my breath for like a few minutes, like that shit was terrible, bro. Like. Just so, so bad. And, and I know this is a shorter story, man, but I just wanted to tell the story because this shit was so fucking funny, man. And also, dude, this car was so fucking boof. Do not hit Rove cards unless it's from California or, like, you know, Chicago or any of, I don't know all the legal states, but any of your legal states. Because, uh, Rove, dude, you can really go on Wish right now, and I'm telling y'all some game, by the way. You can really go on Wish right now and buy empty Rove, um, dab cart containers. You can do this with anything, but Rove is the cheapest, most, uh, easiest one to buy. So, really, dude, it could be fucking pine salt in your thing for any fucking matter, honestly, dude. Because this shit tastes like some boof, boof bullshit. It tastes like some fucking pine salt in the cart. Like, some fucking asshole in a cart. Like, straight up asshole. Okay? But, leave a like, subscribe, comment, man. I want to drop some education, but also entertain y'all while I do it, man. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, man. Peace, boys, I say, signing out.